With the recent patch, a lot of my ships have been vastly improved. The Balgorn with pulse letters received a small boost in DPS, and of course, uh, the Balagorn did receive a small boost in armor repair because of the Nandabot acceleration rigs. Their effect was increased from 20% to 28%, and that's a very nice little boost. Now, one of my ships that was greatly improved by the patch is my Hyperion. Now, you all know, I fly my Hyperion with triple or quad armor repairs, and so far, the Hyperion was practically unsinkable, very, very good ship, and so far, super tanky. Well, with this patch, the Hyperion became even tankier, and I'm actually very surprised by how tanky this thing can actually be, because keep in mind, I still don't have the nano core, although uh, I'm doing good progress on the Concord points. Ever since uh, we have received the PvP Concord points, I have been leveling up that very quickly. So I'll have the nano core for the Hyperion in no time. Now the idea is still the same. I want uh, extra armor and extra armor repair. Those are the bonuses that I'm going to be taking and that will make the Hyperion even tankier than it already is. So overall, uh, I have a very interesting idea uh, that I'll definitely achieve with the Hyperion. As for the Belgorn, I have two nanocores for the Belgorn, one for tank, the other one to improve Nosferatu and neutralizer efficiency and range. I don't plan to change the nanocore on the Belgorn, however, I might change the rigs uh, for this ship. I did say uh, I want full rig integrations on both combat and engineering rigs. Might do something to improve the armor on this on this ship. Would be nice to have around 70,000 armor hit points by default with same resistances and I think I can achieve that. I have a build that can do that. but. For now, uh, the Balagorn does a very good job and remains one of my most successful ships to date. Well, first target, we have we have a Stratius. This Stratius has the Absenji Nano Core. Well, that was quick. Stratius has been destroyed, very nice. Always nice to shoot down one of these super expensive faction cruisers. Now let's take a look at the kill mail. I'm very interested to see uh, how much how much did we get from that status. 5.4 billion. Well, not bad. That's actually pretty good. And it also dropped some very nice stuff and some Sister of Eve debris. 836 million loot from that one ship. Well, that was pretty good. Next target, another faction cruiser. We have a Gila. Let's quickly web and point the Gila before they decide to turn around. Okay, they have been pointed and webbed. Gila trying to burn away. They also have a damage control, but the damage control was activated a little bit too late. And the Gila has been destroyed second faction cruiser for today. So far, a very good start. Well, uh, next target, another Gila. A third faction cruiser for today. They have been... Their capacitor has been depleted. I'm slowly burning towards the faction cruiser. They have been pointed and webbed. They are now into hole. They are repairing their boosting shield, but I believe that was only a medium shield booster. That's the third faction cruiser for today. Second Gila and two Gilas and one Stratus has been have been destroyed. Well, um, we have another Gila. I guess today we have a lot of a lot of Gurista pirate cruisers on the menu. 
Aguila has been pointed and swept for the third time. And now let me just approach to the Aguila. Just in case they decide to try and burn away. They are now into hole. They have a medium shield booster. Or a large shield booster. That's that's a large shield booster. But they have been destroyed anyway, and that was a very nice kill as well. One Stratos and three Gila has been have been destroyed. Very nice. Definitely cannot complain about today. Let's take a look at the at the kill 1.8 billion. Very nice. Some nice loot as well. Very interesting cargo hold. Our next target, we have a Hyperion. Now, I have to make sure that I deplete the capacitor of that Hyperion as quickly as I can, because I know from my personal experience how tanky a Hyperion can get. So, one way to defeat a Hyperion is to quickly deplete its capacitor. However, that might be a little bit difficult if the Hyperion uses capacitor batteries and if the Hyperion has Nosferatus. Hyperion has been wept, has been pointed. I am working to deplete the capacitor as quickly as I can. Hyperion already into low armor. Soon they are going to be into hull, so far everything is going according to plan. Okay, everything seems to be under control. I thought for a moment that this might be a bait Hyperion. But, looks like I was wrong, and everything is, thankfully, under control. That was a very nice target, and a very nice kill. 4.4 billion is Hyperion, very nice. Well, let me approach the gate, or actually, I don't have to approach the gate, I'm already close. Next target, we have a Macario. We have a lot of Blood Raider ships currently, so that Macariel is about to have a very bad day. It also looks like the Macariel has a clear sky nano core. That's a lot of pulse lasers shooting the Macariel. They lost their shield in an instant and well, the rest of the ship did not hold out that long. I'm actually... I'm almost 100% sure that we have depleted the capacitor of the Macario before we have destroyed the ship. That's how many blood raiders we have on on the gate today. Next target we have a Armageddon. They have been webbed and pointed. It looks like they have... This might be a Nanocore or it might be the Tiger skin. Not. Not sure to be honest, it could be both. In any case, this ship looks pretty good. Now the Armageddon is trying to burn to the gate and... My goal here is to ram them from the gate to prevent them from jumping. So, uh, I have to focus on my own ship and on the direction that I'm flying to. So far the current course is straight towards the battleship and looks like it's going to be a successful ram. They have been rammed, excellent. Now let me approach the gate. I have to I have to ram them away from the gate, not to the gate, so I have to be careful. Their capacitor is slowly getting depleted. The Armageddon is one of the ships that was improved with the latest patch and I might start flying the Armageddon a lot more often, but we will see. Okay, let's go towards the second ram, although the battleship is already into hull, so I think, I think we can destroy them before they can jump, and yeah, Armageddon has been destroyed, very nice. 
They were pretty close to the gate. I think it was around 5 kilometers, 7 kilometers, okay. Yeah, they were definitely close. Very good move that I did ram the target away from the gate. Next target, we have a Vexor 2, another expensive cruiser. We have destroyed 4 or 5 cruisers up until this moment. Actually, this might be the 5th cruiser for today. This Vexor did not last long. They have been wiped, pointed. The capacitor has definitely been depleted and one more hit. Vexor has been destroyed. Very nice. My apologies, Vexor 2 has been destroyed. This is the tier 10 variant of the Vexor. A pretty good ship to be honest. I actually like the tier 10 Vexor. There is a lot of cruisers that I wanna fly. Next target, we have a Cinnabal. Cinnabal has been pointed and wept. Now, by this moment I already completed my Concord missions for this week. Basically that one Hyperion was enough to finish all missions for, for the week. So, uh, I will try to give this skill to my friend that is currently bubbling. My goal here is to keep the Cinnabal Leod Pastor and my goal is to keep the Cinnabal webbed and pointed. Now, this Cinnabal somehow is... is boosting shield and they definitely have a large shield booster. Now, that means they have capacity batteries and for some reason the lasers on, on the interdictor seem not to be doing any damage and now I'm getting kinda worried that my friend will lose the interdictor so I decided to shoot and prevent, uh, prevent the Cinnabal to destroy any of our ships and well that was a nice kill the loot will be the loot will be going towards the bubble pilot for the help now next target we have a tempest okay well the third battleship for today i have to keep track of the ships that we destroy a lot of ships were destroyed by the way tempest in armor they have been webbed and pointed we have three Balagorns, okay. The capacitor of that Tempest was gone in an instant. Very nice kill. Let's approach the gate. Next target, we have a... We have a Prakt... We have a Praxis. This is one of the rare ships that I don't see that often. I don't have this ship. I don't fly this ship, but when I do get this ship, I'll definitely try to fly it. They have been webbed, pointed. They also have the the special nano core exclusively for for Praxis. I forgot the name of that nano core, but these ships have exclusive cores that you get. And the Praxis has been destroyed. Another very nice kill. The Praxis can be counted as a faction battleship, by the way. Might very well be the cheapest faction battleship. Forgot how much they cost, but they are still a faction ship. The next target, we have another battleship. Megatron has landed. A red Megatron, very interesting. This might be a bait. So let me, let me be careful here, a local did not spike and only one red in local, very interesting. Hmm, what's up with this? That's kind of weird, usually when, hmm, I don't know. Well, I'm definitely not going to be complaining. They have been webbed, pointed. 
got some losing armor. Now they are into hole. And nice. Megatron has been destroyed. Very good kill. And of course, it was a red Megatron, so... That means extra salty and extra tasty for our corporation. Okay, let me approach the gate and prepare for the next target. We have another Tempest. This Tempest doesn't look like... Doesn't look like it has any nanocore. However, it, it might have a nanocore, but just hidden. That's what I do with some of my ships. But based on the speed at which this Tempest has been destroyed, I don't think that it had a nanocore. That was very quick. Okay, let's go towards the next one. We have a Raven. Pointed and webbed. That's a very nice look nanocore. And the uh, raven has also been destroyed. That was battleship number 5 or number 6. Well, plenty of ships have been blown up today, that's for sure. Our next target, we have a Dramil. Let's hope that they don't manage to burn away. Still within the lockdown range, the capacitor on the Dramil has been depleted. They have been wept and they have been destroyed very quickly. Basically, one cycle of my neutralizer was enough to deplete the capacitor of, of the Dramil, but I keep... Our next target, we have a Tornado, also a red Tornado, by the way. Now, I have to quickly go and deplete the capacitor of this Tornado, because I suspect that they have a large micro drive. If that's the case, they can easily outrun most of our ships. Now they are slowly burning away for now, they lost the shield, they lost the armor, they are almost into hull. They are 40... yeah, they are definitely have... they definitely have a large micro drive. However, my neutralizers and Nosferatus are definitely doing a good effect on its capacitor and they stop because they don't have capacitor to keep the large micro drive running and well that made them a easy target they are now into well they were into low hole now they have been destroyed very nice i should have placed my ship a little bit closer to the warping but that's okay our next target we have a drake let's quickly go and web and point this ship and they lost the shield they are in 50% armor and they have been destroyed but the ship is still in space and that is because well the the pilot did turn off the game as they landed in the bubble and well once your ship is destroyed and if you are logged out then this happens your ship is destroyed but uh, at the same time it's still in space but once you log in you will see your ship exploding very very interesting and something i hope i personally never have to experience Next target, we have a prototype. I haven't seen this. I haven't actually seen this ship in a very long time, so I'm pleasantly surprised to see this ship jumping in. These ships have very good shields, very good hulls, but their armor is not that good. So they can be a shield tank, or surprisingly, they can be a hull tank. 
Although not quite sure if I would like to hold any, any ship, but we will see what will happen in the future when we get to a full version of these ships. They are now into hull, they use one or two medium shield extenders, or maybe one large shield extender. And they have been destroyed. Very nice. Well, uh, pleasantly surprised to see that ship. Although the the Balagorn will still do the Balagorn thing, and that is deplete the capacitors of practically any ship in the game. Next target, we have a prophecy. They have been webbed, pointed, and most likely the capacitor of the prophecy is already depleted. Sometimes I switch from my from a tank nanocore to the nanocore that improves Nosferatu and neutralizer efficiency and range. And I can tell you there is a big difference. There is a big difference. I have to deplete someone's capacitor from 55 kilometers. It actually works. It actually works really well. Okay, prophecy has been short. Let me burn to the gate. Our next target, we have a Rapture Guardian. Very interesting, a Guardian, okay. I have to quickly go and web the Guardian. And of course, uh, I have to deplete the capacitor of the Guardian as well. I thought about improving the speed on the Balagorn, but at the same time, I don't see the point of improving the speed in one of the slowest ships in the game. The Balagorn is the slowest faction battleship in the game at the moment. The Guardian is now into armor, the Guardian is now into hull, webbed and pointed, and they have been destroyed. Very nice. Very nice. They tried to burn away from the bubble with the afterburner, but it did not work for some reason. I guess the Rapture Guardian was a little bit too slow with the afterburner. Next target we have a Prophecy and we have a Retriever. Very, very interesting combination. Let me go and try to point the Retriever. Prophecy has been destroyed. And the retriever is in hull. The retriever has also been destroyed before I could even do anything. Oh well. That was two ships in a row. Very nice. Very nice. Let's approach the gate. Let's stop the ship right here. Next target Hurricane Logistics. They are trying to burn to the gate. I think they are trying to burn to the gate. That means I have to go and quickly web and point them. They have been webbed. I will web them in 3 kilometers. They have been webbed and pointed. Looks like a tanky hurricane logistic. They lost a shield, now they are into armor. One more hit, and there we go. Hurricane Logistic has been destroyed. Very nice. Not quite sure why. We actually seen so many logistic battle cruisers flying around. Not quite sure why. Some of them were fitted for PvP. Some of them were fitted to uh, repair shields. This is the next uh, logistic battle cruiser that popped in. They have been webbed and pointed. Capacitor going to be depleted very quickly. The recharge mode does not help against a Belgorn. And of course, against a Dreadnought. Those capital leaders reminded me that we have a Dreadnought on the field with us. Well, the Dreadnought got the kill. Very nice. That was another 
another logistic battle cruiser. Let's go towards the next target. We have another prophecy. We have been pointed and swept. The prophecy trying to burn to the gate, but the dreadnought got the prophecy before the prophecy could even move. That was a nice kill as well. And our final target for today, we have another hurricane logistic. They have been webbed and pointed. They are trying to burn away, but that's not going to happen. And the dreadnought got the third battle cruiser for today. Very nice. Good job to the dreadnought. They are definitely melting down ships very quickly. Well then, uh, that was a that was a that was a nice little ride today. Surprised at how many ships we have destroyed, and how many faction ships we have destroyed as well. Very overall, a uh, very lucky day, and that's why I say uh, that this Balgorn for some reason brings brings us luck. Whenever I bring the Hyperion. Stuff like this, things like this never happen. Usually we get some traffic, but when I fly the Battlegorn, the traffic improves by a lot. So, uh, with that being said, hope that you enjoyed. Stay safe, fly safe, and I'll see you next time.